Okay, initially we worked with North Carolina State on the core technology, which was very unstable at the time. Core Life took that technology and invented a way to stabilize it so it could be used commercially in the industry, uh, both for floriculture and food. Uh, why that's important is ethylene is a hormone in plants. Every plant produces it and every plant uh, can sense it. So it's everywhere and in large quantities, it can create damage to the flowers. So we have to figure out how to control that. The sensitivity of ethylene on flowers varies quite a bit by crop. So I'll give, as an example, carnations are the standard ethylene sensitive crop. Everybody has seen a sleepy carnation that's not treated with ethyl block. Uh, another crop which people don't even realize is ethylene sensitive are roses. Uh, the symptoms can vary from bent neck to petal drop to bluing. Uh, in roses, it just depends on the cultivar. In potted plants, the uh, most popular plant is orchids. Orchids are very ethylene sensitive, and you'll see that by the flowers just falling off the plant and dying. Uh, so almost all orchids are actually treated with ethyl block currently in order for them to be able to ship through the supermarket supply chain. Since ethylene is, is very difficult to measure, you need to assume that it's around and it's at levels uh, that can be harmful to flowers. Uh, especially at supermarket levels, we've measured levels uh, and distribution chains that could kill a flower in 24 hours. So the best way to make sure that you're fighting ethylene is temperature, is making sure it's treated with ethyl block, which inhibits ethylene from working, um, and just good care and handling techniques, both for cut flowers and potted plants. The most effective way to treat flowers and plants for ethylene is using an action inhibitor, which is either ethyl block or silver thiol sulfate. Ethyl Guard is the Floor Life product. Uh, both of those go into the plant and they actually, like a lock and key, Ethyl block will go into the site and lock on to where ethylene would normally bind and stop it. Um, that way ethylene can't turn on all the negative things that can happen with flowers. So ethyl block acts like a lock and key. It will go into, it's a gas that will go into the flowers and will bind to the site where ethylene normally binds so that ethylene can't go into the plant and turn on all those negative effects. Normally speaking, uh, at room temperature, ethyl block will protect the flowers for, like with orchids, for nine days. And if you're at lower temperatures with cut flowers, it could be many more days, like 30 days, just depending on how long it's stored at low temperatures. But you will get significantly more base life uh, from ethyl block than, than not using it.